Sorry. Uh, so, hello, everyone. This is Yuqi from China University of Geosciences, Sciences. And today I'm going to talk about the Changfa Emission Landing Site. Uh, what is Changfa Emission? Changfa Emission is China's first lunar sample return mission. There are two methods uh, used by Changfa to sample lunar rallies. The first method is uh, using a drill to uh, sample the uh, subsurface uh, materials. Another method is using sampler A and a sampler B to sample the surface samples. And in total, uh, 1731 grams of lunar samples was taken by, back to the Earth by the Chang 5. Where is the Chang 5 mission landing site? The Chang 5 mission landing site is to, uh, in the North Ocean of Pakularum to the west of Mare Imbrim. And, and in the Northwest Lunar Year site, the Chang 5 landing site is within a uh, Persilarum KIP terrain, which is a geochemical analog province with evaluated heat, evalu, evaluated heat produced elements are very thin crust. And because of this, uh, this uh, may be the reason why Chang 5 landing site developed some of the youngest lunar resource elements, which I will describe la later. And if you take a look at this uh, web images and the uh, images, you will find that this place is a very ideal place to study lunar mechanism. Oh, most of this region was covered by uh, mare basalts, and there is a huge volcanic complex on the uh, on the south boundary of the Lanyu region. And there is some other silicon rich domes uh, in the east of the Lanyu region, and there is a very very long series of areas in the crossing the east of the Lanyu region, which I will describe later as well. And if you uh, take a look at the uh, Harry Harry Hinsinger's lunar uh, mare age unit map, you will find that the Chang five landing unit here. It is one of the youngest lunar mirror resources on the moon, and it, it makes a lot of meaning of the Chang'e mission. And how is this young mirror unit like? Based on composition data from WAC, from WAC and other, uh, lunar perspective images, we found that this unit is a type of intermediate titanium mirror resource. Uh, and the thorium and other incompatible elements uh, are, in, are evaluated of this young mirror resource. And, uh, Actually, we don't know very well how and why uh, thorium and other incumbent elements evaluated in mirror resource. Up to this point, there are two hypotheses. One is inherent hypothesis, another is extraneous hypothesis. Uh, based on the work uh, of Fu et al. in JJR planet, they think that the thorium are endogenous to the mirror resource here, but I think that is far from well known, and the Chang 5 samples will provide lots of information on this point. And uh, I also studied the spectra of over 5,500 small fresh craters in this region and using modified Gaussian model to model the relative abundance of um, different minerals. And I found that clinoparoxene uh, is the most uh, dominant mineral in this region, followed by orthoparoxene and olivines. But if you have read some uh, spectroscopy work based on M cube data, many authors propose that uh, the uh, olivine should be very rich in the young mare unit, young mare units in Ocean Escolar, but I don't see many olivine of the Chang Fai landing site. And I think that the Chang Fai samples will provide uh, uh, many ground truths of uh, the spec of this kind of young high, high titanium mare resource. Do, are they uh, rich in olivine or not? Other things people care about are the chronology. The Chang Fai Yang Mayor unit are homogeneous in composition in general, but there are some small composition variations. What do these small composition variations mean? Are they from uh, impact mixing, geochemical evolution in one flows or separate flows? Uh, I want to know how. Uh, I, I want to know more information. So I did this great, great counting map of this Yang Mayor unit, and I found some uh, internal age variations within this unit. Actually, this unit has also been dated by many other other authors and we get ages from 1.2 giga year to 2.1 giga year. The good news is the results from all authors are uh, within the Eratosthenian approach and are younger than all upload samples, upload and lunar samples. And here is the results from other two authors. They also dated the small areas within this unit and get a different ages and, we, and also found age variations like me. So what can choose the age variations within this unit? Is this because of continuous eruption or local geology or the selection of critical counting areas or the matter uncertainties? Or we, we really need to update the lunar culture function uh, in the young time frame or rethink about the critical counting methods. I think the Chang Fai samples will provide us lots of precious information of this point as well. And uh, what's the formation, uh, a, a range of Young mare resource in this region. There are no other observable 
uh, eruption sources in this region except Rima Sharp. It's very nature to, for us to, and the Rima Sharp is very close to the Chang Five landing site. So it is very natural for us to uh, link these two things together and study their relationships. And here are some numbers of Rima Sharp and Rima Prince. Rima Sharp is much larger than Rima Prince, which was already modeled by Howe Zado. And they think that uh, the formation of uh, Rima Prince need lavas between uh, 50 to 200 cubic kilometers. And because the Rima Sharp is much, much larger than Rima Prince, it's very natural to extend and think that the formation of Rima Sharp is much more lava than this number. And this uh, lava should, must be deposited somewhere in this unit. And uh, the, uh, this unit has a volume between 1,000 to 2,000 cubic kilometers in volume. And uh, it's possible that this uh, Yami unit is just formed by the single eruption of Rima Sharp. And uh, what happens, and uh, we did a detailed work and prove, uh, and, uh, prove that maybe the, this Yami unit is related to the eruption of uh, serious rays Rima Sharp here. And here is how. We think that the previous salt Rima Sharp is actually composed of four senior stories. Four first erupted uh, Rima Luvio and Rima Hapalas, followed by Rima Sharp, followed by Rima Marie, and they meet somewhere here in the middle of this unit. And then the materials from Rima uh, Sharp cover all this Yami unit, the materials from Rima Sharp cover the southeast corner of this unit. And except for um, these are images of Chang Fai samples. We will see that the samples are very diverse, including glunates, breaches, basalts, and uh, glasses. To better understand the samples and maximize the sample um, um, meanings, it's better for us to know much better the um, sample severance. Based on the work of Xie et al., myself, Jai et al., we have made some constant conclusions that the exotic materials here are very mi minor. Local materials dominate the regular compositions and uh, the exotic materials are mainly from distal epidic ejecta, meteorites, and volcanic gases. And because the epidic ejecta are dominated exotic materials, I trace all of them in North Ocean as Pacillarum. And I found that uh, the ejecta are mainly from northeast uh, direction, mm -hmm. uh, northeast uh, southwest direction, and and uh, the overlaying the Changfa Yami unit and should be the dominant ejecta. And uh, the largest difference between my work and Shia's work is that they think northeast and southwest direction ejecta from Shabi crater, but I think that they are from Hapalas craters. Directed dating Shabi crater and uh, uh, Hapalas crater were unreliable, unreliable ages, were re rival unreliable ages because uh, the morphology here is very complex. And I think that if you take the morphology here directly, you will find that Shabi sorry, Hapalas crater looks much younger than Sharp crater. But if you dating their continued ejecta, you will, the crater county will show you Sharp crater is younger than Hapalas crater. So I think the crater county here will impeded by different failures like uh, self cycle craters, partial barrel craters, uh, abnormal degradations, et cetera. But because of this uh, northeast and southwest Minutes. direction ejecta overlaying all this unit, and it should be very critical in the Chang Fire sample studies, so I propose that uh, in the future, people should be more, have more cautions of credit counting on these two craters. And here is a list of my conclusions. It's one of the youngest mirror basalts on the moon, and uh, maybe erupted from Rima Sharp, and uh, exotic materials maybe from Hapalas, Aristotle, Copernic, volcanic glasses on, from the south vents of Rima Sharp and Rima Marine. And uh, I propose two calibration points. One is from local mirror basalts, one is from Hapalas crater. Thank you.